We're back at the Michigan Speedway. There's been another accident. It's involved one of our leaders today, the man who took pole position here. It's Adrian Fernandez. The car safety crew are on hand very quickly, and uh, it's been a heavy impact against the wall. It looked as though it was another situation of uh, getting out wide. Yes, he got in the marbles, and the wheel flying over the fencing as well, and that perhaps has gone into the grandstand. So that's a very worrying moment. Adrian Fernandez hitting the wall extremely hard coming out of turn number four. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty frightening there. Uh, you certainly, went, as Robbie Gordon said to us earlier on, once you get into the marbles there on the outside of that turn, there's not much you can do. All you can do is brace yourself and wait for the impact and hope it's not too heavy. Well, it was pretty heavy there for Adrian Fernandez, but the kart safety team uh, are down there with Adrian Fernandez now, and uh, they will make sure that he is... Uh, uh, regained his, all his faculties before they were endeavour to get him out of that car. So uh, the cars out behind the safety car, or the pace car at the moment, and uh, we're waiting to see whether they come into the pits. It's likely, I think, that we're going to see virtually all of them come into the pits this time around. The pits haven't been opened yet. They're waiting for that big plus sign to be uh, put up. But it looks as though Adrian Fernandez is OK. We've just heard reports that uh, he has come on the radio to say that he is all right. I think uh, a bit shocked, a bit dazed. He was pretty slow, apparently, to uh, answer his radio to his crew. But there he is with the safety uh, members. Uh, the helmet is off. He's drinking some water. He's taken a big knock, but uh, I think that Adrian is basically all right. So that's good news. Let's take another look at it, Jeremy. Yeah, and here we've, we've, uh, he's already understood that wide there into the, in, out of the groove there and up into the wall there. He was dieting with Paul Tracy at the time, and uh, there's a wheel there uh, goes up in the air and uh, appears to hit the top of the uh, debris fencing. I'm not quite sure where it, not quite sure where it goes from there, but a heavy, heavy impact for uh, Adrian Fernandez. You know, there's there's crash box recorders on these cars, and uh, that wasn't as accidents go. That wasn't as heavy as some we've seen, but some crashes the uh, four data recorders have recorded more than 100 G's in the accident and basically speaking more than 100 G's will basically kill you but because of the safety the uh, safety modifications to these cars over the last few years there's so much uh, ab energy absorbing material between the driver and uh, the outside uh, impact there that uh, the, it's a remarkable advance advances have been made over the last few years Ben. Yes, thankfully they have the seats as well, as you say, uh, they've got new seats being used in this series. Now, now let's take a look at the pit stops, vital pit stops here. Michael in the top of your picture, Alex Nardi in the middle of your picture, Paul Tracy at the bottom. Let's see what happens and watch who has the best stop. Slight front wing change on Tenardi's car. Tracy, 10.1, brilliant stop again from Team Green. Tenardi a 9.6, another great stop. He gets out ahead of Tracy. And Andretti, a slow stop here. Why so slow? Difficult to spot exactly what happened. 19.1 seconds. Michael is very late out of the pits. And uh, dicing wheel to wheel with Richie Hearn as they came past our box here on the uh, exit of the pits. There is Richie Hearn having moved ahead of Michael Andretti. You know, there's still what... Uh, more than uh, 70 laps to go here. So at this stage in the procedures, no big deal that Michael Andretti will lose a few positions. So Michael uh, has to do the work again as the leaders come back out. Adrian Fernandez out of his car. That's a very good sign. Back at the Michigan Speedway for the US 500. 180 laps completed, 70 laps still to go. We're under caution period. As a result of Adrian Fernandez's crash, the leader of this race for uh, quite a few laps. He's been in that lead group for a lot of the race, started on pole position. Adrian has uh, limped away from his car. It looks as though he's really taken a heavy bash to his knees. Of course, in the monocoque uh, tub, Jeremy, there's not a lot of space for the legs, but they can still take a very, very hefty whack against uh, some pretty hard edges. Can't yeah, they? absolutely right, Ben. If you can imagine just sitting there in the car, your, your, your knees are ahead, away from the bulkhead, and as the car slams sideways into the wall, uh, your legs just follow an instant later and then they tend to knock against each other and that's what uh, it, it tends to be pretty painful uh, so but it's great to see there Adrian uh, there with John Potter who is actually the uh, the uh, chairman of the championship drivers association making sure that Adrian's okay he looks after all the insurance aspects and looks after the drivers make sure everything's okay with them and uh, he's been a, a great friend to the drivers here in this series and uh, just helping Adrian walk himself into the medical centre, he'll be checked over by Dr. Olvi and Cohen. Here's another uh, replay of this, this accident. There's uh, the two leaders coming up on Michel Jourdain Jr.'s car and his countryman, uh, Adrian Fernandez, heavily into the wall there yes, really behind lead. him. 
leaving a big mark against the wall and you can see it just scraped along. I mean, imagine the speed that it was doing as it hit the wall. He hadn't had much chance to slow it down, had he? No, you can't really slow down the car at all. You can just, just sort of kind of brace yourself and, and what you tend to do is move your knees probably across to the left-hand side of the car and as the, there's the force of the impact, your body's not strong enough to stop your knees from whacking across into the right side of, of the monocoque there and uh, a painful rap on the knees. For Adrian Fernandez. So, a great disappointment for the Mexican, who Lee seemed to be having a great weekend here in Michigan, but he's not going to score any more points. He lies fourth in the championship, won't add to it today. Zanardi is race leader. The overhead view of the Michigan Speedway, the two-mile oval that we are into the uh, last 68 laps of the race here. Still a fairly long way to go, but uh, things beginning to uh, settle down now. And the drivers looking towards the climax of this race to try and pick up the slipstreams just as perfectly as possible. Just one lap now to go until we get back into green flag racing. Yeah, and with 68 laps to go, depending on whether or not there are any more cautions, they should be able to do it now just on one more pit stop, and that shouldn't be too much of a problem. They uh, seem to be able to do 35, 36 laps, so uh, with uh, 67 laps to go uh, and 66 next time around, that should be no problem for just one more pit stop. So that really is going to begin to heat things up now as they head towards that next pit stop. One more look at what happened to Adrian Fernandez. There he was with Paul Tracy right behind him as they went uh, down the back stretch. Paul Tracy got the toe, went down the inside as we've seen so many times already in this race. Fernandez followed him through, turn three and four, started going up, up, up into the marbles. There was nothing he could do about it. It was purely in the slipstream of Paul Tracy. He lost downforce and then it was all over. And uh, well, that's the trouble. And we may see more of that as this race continues. People getting a little more eager not to lose too much time. And it's possible we may see one or two more effects there. So we don't know anything about uh, any possible injuries in the stands. The wheel did go over the fence as we saw. And there are reports of injuries.